Howdy, everybody. A new video is in the works, but instead of making you kind of, you know, wait for that new video to come out, I thought, hey, I'll just put in a little bit of a filler video in the meantime. And yesterday there was a gigantic change in the golf world as the PGA Tour and the DP World Tour and the PIF, the Live, uh, went into an agreement to merge and to end litigation. So I went over that on stream yesterday and I thought, well, let me give you a video of my thoughts, because, uh, boy, what a merger it is. I'm also looking at maybe, potentially, I don't know yet, we'll see, moving over to YouTube entirely, not doing Twitch anymore, that's kind of up in the air right now, just a lot of things that Twitch have been doing has just been bad, so, I don't know, that might be happening, so, be on the lookout for maybe something of that nature, but anyways, here's a video about, uh, PGA Tour and the PIF merging together to form whatever they end up calling the new conglomerate world tour that they're doing. A new video is coming, but uh, hopefully you enjoy my thoughts on this. <laughs> did you guys see this? Huh? Hey, did you guys see this? As PGA and Liv are merging today? Look at that. Agreement establishes common goal to promote and grow the game globally for the benefit of all stakeholders. Yeah, dude, I've always held this, this, like, firm stance on this is, uh, like, everybody. Everybody is accepting b blood money. Like, every single corporation that any single one of us goes and buys shit at is global. They're global. They're everywhere. Like, it's just, that's just the way it is. I, I do, this is not, like, this didn't surprise me. I don't know what, I don't know how people are surprised by this. They were in litigation. They got, PGA got sued, the PGA countersued, and it's tied up in litigation. So, what would you rather do? Go through said litigation, probably it ends in a payout of some sort, or just accept billions of dollars and merge and call it a day. Uh... I think merging, it, taking on billions of dollars and then calling it a day is probably the uh, the right thing to do, you know? That's probably what they're thinking. It is! L look at this! Ends litigation. This is from the PGA Tour. This is their official channel. It is legitimately in the headline. Ends litigation. Like, this was... This was... Probably always gonna happen. I bet this has been in talks for months. I think it's really funny that it happened, you know, right after a live player wins, but still, I'm sure this has been talked about for months. I was kind of surprised to see the DP World Tour in there too. Also, I don't know what I don't know what this thing's gonna be called. <laughs> and the funny thing is, yeah, dude, wake up call that loyalty in 2023 means nothing. All of those PGA Tour pros that stuck to loyalty for the PGA didn't accept there was a report that tiger turned down 800 million dollars 800 million dollars and what does he have to show for it i mean nothing he's 800 million dollars poor well not poor he's still fucking rich and a billionaire probably but still he has 800 less million dollars than he could have had and now they're just merging <laughs> they're just merging and all of the live players just get, get to come back with their 150 million that they got. <laughs> As they pull up, I don't know, in their $7 million Bugatti, you know? So good. Everybody's in bed with everybody because it's a global economy. And that's just fucking how it is. I just find it crazy that for the past, what, two years? Probably? About two years? Has it been about two years? It's been a long time. Everybody from the PGA Tour... And all of their affiliates, so all of the the pundits that they have, everything, everybody has been talking about how the the live tour is the devil, Saudi is the devil, and they they all they have all the money, and they're just trying to sports wash, sports wash the sport. Is that the right term? Whatever the fuck the term is, they're just trying to do all this stuff, and they've been saying that for fucking months, like every other day, talking about it for months. And then they come back and say, just kidding. They offered us billions of dollars. Can't say no to that. I mean, we, can't, we just have to do it, you know? We just have to do it. <laughs> a 
Dude, you know, do you know what's even funnier? All the fucking live guys that were complaining about so many tournaments being done, and now there's probably just going to be even more tournaments that they have to play in because they're going to be playing across two tours. I think the I think what they were saying though, I guess we could probably just I didn't read this at all, but uh, I think that everything is still saying separate. They're just under like a conglomerate kind of thing now. But everything is the tours are still all separate. Jay uh, Monahan, I realize people are going to call me a hypocrite. <laughs> Can't imagine how much money, it w- dude. It's gonna be so much money, dude. It's gonna be so much money, hundreds of millions. I, I-, I mean, would be my guess. Yeah, I don't know. So after two years of disruption and distraction, <laughs> yeah, or historic day for the game. The transformational partnership recognized the immeasurable strength of PGA Tour history, legacy, and pro competitive model and combines it with DP World Tour and Live, including the team golf concept. So I only watched one Live tournament, and is this something that people actually liked? To create an organization that will benefit golf's players, commercial and charitable partners, and fans. I think this is good for the fans, honestly. Uh, no more of this, this like, shit, you know? I, like, I, I do think this is probably good for the fans, so us. Going forward, fans can be confident that we will collectively deliver on the promise we've always made to promote competition of the best in professional golf and that we're committed to securing and driving the game's future. Yeah, maybe. How many youth watched Live? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Just reading everything and hearing everything over the past, like, two years. This first sentence is so good. We are pleased to move forward in step with Live and PIF's world-class investing experience. <laughs> And I applaud PIF Governor Yasir Al Rumayan. God, I'm sorry if I butchered that. For his vision and collaborative and forward thinking approach that is not just a solution to the rift in our game, but also a commitment to taking it to new heights. This will engender? Engender. Cause or give rise. So this will give rise to a new era in the global golf in global golf for the better how bad was that lawsuit going for the pga Uh, there was probably going to be a a payout of some sort i mean i wouldn't doubt it but who knows what the counter law it was going to be tied up in litigation for years it was going to be in litigation for years and years and years and years and years i haven't read this statement this is this is a good statement today is a very exciting day for the special game and the people it touches around the world we are proud to partner with the pga tour to leverage pif's unparalleled success and track record of unlocking value and bringing innovation and global best practices to business and sectors worldwide. Unparalleled success? When you have billions of dollars, you're going to have success sometimes. I would go as far to say that Live was very unsuccessful, but it did get them a merger with the PGA Tour. So I guess that's a dub for them. We are committed to unifying, promoting, and growing the game of golf around the world and offering the highest quality product to the many millions of longtime fans globally while cultivating new fans. Again, Liv was not bringing in any new fans whatsoever. Zero. There is no question that the Liv model has been positively transformative for golf. The fuck? Has it? I actually do not know. I I might not be too like in tune though with like the professional golf scene i think that it positively transformed golf for the pga tour and its players i will say that like they they i think that they did provide change through pga i do think that but that's just because they were poaching so many of their players you know so like a change had to be made kind of thing Again, when you have billions of dollars, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, we believe there are opportunities for the game to evolve while also maintaining its storied uh, history and tradition. I-, I think that this is also, like, I I will agree with this. It's the same thing is happening with fucking baseball right now, dude, where on one on one hand, you have a group of people who are like, no, keep everything the same. Nothing ever changes. I love seeing my team lose to an ump calling a strike seven feet above the strike zone. That's my favorite thing about baseball. Uh, And then there's other people who are like, maybe we should, I don't know, change some shit to make this a little bit more not about the refs or not about the umps or not about bullshit calls or or any of the shit. So I think 
like the I think uh I think the PGA has the same exact fan bases. Uh the partnership represents the best opportunity to extend and increase the impact of golf for all. Again, throw billions of dollars at something, you're gonna see results. We look forward to collaborating with Jay and Keith to bring the best version of the game uh to, commun- to communities around the world. Separately, PGA Tour will remain in place as a 501c tax exempt organization. <laughs> <laughs> it retains administrative oversight of events of those assets contributed by the PGA Tour. So they're still a non for profit. So they're making, okay, so they're making an overarching like conglomerate that's going to be for profit because, of course, I mean, the PIF are, again, pouring billions in. So they're going to be for profit. But the PGA themselves, they're tax exempt. They, they're not, not for profit. They don't make any money. So much money, not there. Just like the NFL. The NFL doesn't make any money. Mm-mm. Nope, not for profit. Tax exempt. Jay will stay as commissioner. Honestly, the way this has all gone down, what do you think the odds are that Jay Monahan gets absolutely shit canned? Although, I mean, looking at it from a shareholders or like the board or anything from their perspective, he did make them a fuckload of money. Yeah, but see, Mash. The PGA isn't getting that money. The PGA mega fuck uh, corporation that's overseeing the PGA tour, they get the money. So I think that's, I think the NFL actually did something similar to that. Like the NFL, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I hope it's named that too. Uh, I think the NFL did something similar to that too, though, didn't they? Like the NFL itself, the PGA Megafuck Conglomerate? Yeah, let's go with that, dude. I actually like that one. The NFL itself is not-for-profit, but then I think they have, like, a, a like an overhead company that is for-profit. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering that, but I feel like they did that a while ago. The board of directors of the new commercial entity. So they don't know what it's called yet, but there is going to be a new commercial entity. The PGA Megafuck Conglomerate. If they take that, I'm copyright striking them. The new entity's board will also include an executive committee compromising of L. Rumayan, Monahan, Airly, Her- and PGA... Jimmy Dunes? Dude, I wonder what he had to say about this. Because I don't know if you guys have seen what Jimmy has said in the past about the Live Tour. I am, I am curious to see what Jimmy had to say about this, dude. Let me see if I can actually find some, some Jimmy, Jimmy Dunn quotes. <laughs> let me see let me see uh let me see what he had to say i don't like it when they say they're growing the game then said that's crap i don't even like it when they say i have to do what's best for my family i really wonder how many of those guys the lifestyle that they're living was so horrible that their family needed them to do this just say i'm at a point in my career where i want to make five times as much money against much weaker competition and play less just tell the truth don't cover it up with a lot of crap okay so far, they said, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Dunn saw a public, uh, Saudi public investment fund head uh, yes here say anybody who shoots a 54 will get 54 million and said, this is the guy that's running the event. I mean, come on, this is the head guy. That's like something you'd see on Saturday Night Live. It's an exhibition. Okay, there have been exhibitions. Gary and Jack did them all the time. That's what this is. Okay. I spoke to one player that has not gone but may. Uh, he was down in Florida and was thinking about it. The head live guy called him. You got to come over today. So-and-so is only going to be here from 1 to 5. The guy says, I can't. You don't understand. We're telling you to come now. He says, once you sign up with the Saudis, you're kind of with them. And you're beholden to them. Yeah, and their moods can change. This is him talking, by the way. Uh, I would say that there's been a lot of outreach to people and uh, through intermediaries, but what changed was a very productive conversation with the chairman of our board, Jimmy Doon, uh, had with Yusir and members of PIF, where we were able, uh, and they were able to have a discussion about how we work together to grow the game, how we work together to grow the PGA Tour, and really get an understanding and start building some trust as we uh, pursued that. So, I will, I will, uh, I'll interpret it for you guys, okay? Six months ago, Jimmy was like, this shit with the live, dog shit. These guys are dog shit. Anybody who goes over there is a fucking piece of dog shit. They suck. PGA for life. Okay? And then Jimmy sat down with the PIF, right? And the PIF, they walked in and said, Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? 
how would you like $800 million? And that was the end of that. So here we are. PGA Tour and Liv are now uh, in tune together. And uh, that's where the story ends for now. Good for them. Billionaires overnight. <laughs> Fucking good for them, dude. You go get them. You go get them, tiger. I live inside my own world of make-believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice-covered in